Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The story of Moses, part 6. The story of the Prophet Musa and Al Khidr. During the journey to the Promised Land, Prophet Musa himself learned many lessons. One of these teachings is recorded in a hadith narration found in Sahih al Bukhari. In this account, Prophet Musa meets a wise man known as Al Khidr. The story begins with a man who, after listening to a sermon by the Prophet, approaches him and asks him who he thought was the most learned man amongst the people. Prophet Musa replied, It is I. Allah was not pleased with Musa's response, as he did not attribute absolute knowledge to Almighty Allah. Allah told Musa in Surah Al-Kahf at the junction where the two seas meet, there is a slave of mine who is more learned than you. Musa was eager to meet this learned person. So he asked the Almighty, O oh my Lord, how can I meet him? Allah replied, take a fish, put it in a large basket, and you will find him at the place where you will lose the fish. Musa was determined. So he took a fish, placed it in a basket, and set out with his boy servant, Yusha ibn Nun, in search of the learned man. When the duo paused their journey and briefly rested, unknown to the two, the fish fell out of the basket and slipped into the sea. But when they reached the point where the two rivers meet, they forgot their fish, and it took its way into the sea as if through a tunnel. The pair resumed their journey, traveling all night until they paused once again to rest for the night. Musa instructed Yusha, Bring us our meal. We have certainly been exhausted by today's journey. Before long, Yusha realized that they had lost the fish. He went rushing to Musa. Did you see when we retired to the rock? Indeed, I forgot the fish, and none made me forget it except Shaitan, that I should mention it and it took its course into the sea amazingly, he said. Musa replied, that is exactly what we were looking for. So they retraced their footsteps and returned to the location, the area where the two seas meet, where they saw a man lying covered with a garment. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِفَتَاهُ لَا أَبْرَحُ حَتَّى أَبْلُغَ مَجْمَعَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ أَوْ أَمْضِيَ حُقُبًا فَلَمَّا بَلَغَ مَجْمَعَ بَيْنِهِمَا نَسِيَا حُوتَهُمَا فَاتَّخَذَ سَبِيلَهُ فِي الْبَحْرِ سَرَبًا فلما جاوزا قال لفتاه آتنا غدا أنا لقد لقينا من سفرنا هذا نصبا قال أرأيت إذ أوينا إلى الصخرة فإني نسيت الحوت وما أنسانيه إلا الشيطان أن أذكره واتخذ سبيله في البحر عجبا قال ذلك ما كنا نبغ فارتدا على آثارهما قصصا موسى approached the man, greeted him and introduced himself the man who was named Al Khidr asked, Oh, Musa of Bani Israel. Musa said to him, May I follow you that you may teach me something of the wisdom which you have been taught? Al Khidr replied, Oh, Musa, I have some of the knowledge of Allah which Allah has taught me and which you don't know. Why do you have some of the knowledge of Allah which Allah has taught you and which I don't know? Musa then asked, May I follow you? He replied, Surely, you will never be able to endure with me patiently. And how can you be patient with what is beyond your realm of knowledge? Musa did not back down. He assured the man, You will find me patient, Allah willing, and I will not disobey any of your orders. Al-Khadr said, Then, if you follow me, 
Do not question me about anything until I clarify it for you. So the two men set out walking along the seashore when a boat passed by. Al-Khidr requested the crew to take them aboard. The crew who recognized Al-Khidr took them aboard at no charge. When the men were aboard the boat, a sparrow flew in and perched itself on the edge of the boat while dipping its beak into the sea, quenching its thirst. Al-Khidr said to Musa, O oh Musa, my knowledge and your knowledge have not decreased Allah's knowledge, except as much as this sparrow has decreased the water of the sea with its beak. Then out of the blue, Al-Khidr began striking the boat's deck, creating a hole. Moses explained, Have you made a hole in it so as to drown the people in the boat? You have certainly done an awful thing. He replied, Did I not tell you that you will not be able to patiently bear with me? Musa pleaded, Excuse me for forgetting, and do not be hard on me for my fault. When they had left the sea, they passed by a boy playing with the other boys. Al-Khidr killed the boy. Musa protested once again. Have you killed an innocent soul who killed no one? You have certainly done a horrible thing. He answered, Did, didn't I tell you that you will not be able to patiently bear with me? Musa replied, If I ever question you about anything after this, then do not keep me in your company. Or by then I would have given you enough of an excuse. They then traveled until they reached the town. They asked them for food, but the people refused to accord them hospitality. In the town they found a wall that was ready to collapse. So Al-Khidr repaired it with a touch of his hand. Musa commented, If you wanted, you could have demanded a fee for this. Al-Khidr responded, this brings me and you to a parting of ways. Now I shall explain to you the true meaning of things about which you could not remain patient. فأردت أن أعيبها وكان وراءهم ملك يأخذ كل سفينة غصبا وأما الغلام فكان أبواه مؤمنين فخشينا أن يرهقهما طغيانا وكفرا فأردنا أن يبدلهما ربهما خيرا منه زكاة وأقرب رحما وأما الجدار فكان لغلامين يتيمين في المدينة وكان تحته كنز لهما وكان أبوهما صالحا فأراد ربك أن يبلغا أشدهما ويستخرجا كنزهما رحمة من ربك وما فعلته عن أمري ذلك تأويل ما لم تستع عليه صبرا The statement I didn't do it all on my own gives the impression that his actions were because of revelation or divine guidance of Allah. The story imparts an important teaching to place our complete trust in Allah. Man's knowledge is limited, lacking context and understanding of the future. Whoever trusts their Lord, knowing his attributes of being kind, loving and merciful, will see that he ultimately guides humanity towards good.